Lions Adventures. I'm Jen. Today we are going to be opening our Boxy Premium, which is supposed to be all Fenty products. So let us see. Huh, there is a one of those QR code things. Scanner codes. No. See? Over there in the corner. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, Coda. <clears throat> Here is what the inside of the box looks like. Yeah, I will. Move that. Turn this light down just a little bit. There you go. There you can see what it looks like. And we have a card here with all of our stuff. And it also has a QR code. <coughs> Whatever those things are called down there. Okay, so we kind of knew what everything would be in the box, right? For the Fenty stuff. So, I am going to start here with this is the Fenty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Shanti. Oh, and she's gonna go. Koda was right here and Orion is outside. So she had to go run to the door. I'm just gonna bark at the door until somebody lets her out. Well I'm here and hubby I love the packaging. It's so pretty. That is really dark. Really dark shade. You see that? That is a really dark shade. It's really pretty, but really dark. Doesn't have a smell, so I mean, it's really pretty, but it's really dark. <clears throat> okay, so the um the Blush lipstick, eighteen dollars. I'm sure everybody knows um, what these things, what this box is supposed to cost. But I guess I'll whip out the old calculator, Andy B. Oh goodness! So that was eighteen dollars. So then we have the matchstick in a unicorn. Apparently, which is purple. Why did I get purple? Really? I'm gonna wear purple. I guess I could wear it as a um. Yikes! Ooh wee! I guess I could wear it as a um. A um. Uh, eyeshadow with my bloodless palette or something so there's that um so that's the they are um $25 Coda you're gonna have to wait a minute um Magnetized makeup stick in a long wear light as air shimmer formula to highlight blush and enhance. This long wear cream to powder highlighter stick is weightless, blendable, and lives to be layered. Included shades may vary. Why do companies make shades like that? I just don't understand. <coughs> okay, here is the gloss balm in diamond milk which 
everyone knows this is a color that is just basically clear um which is good because that is a color that y'all um it's always a good thing you know it goes over anything um this is the ultimate gotta have it lip gloss with exclu explosive shine that feels as good as it looks in the shade diamond milk as dewy highlight for your lips fenty gloss balm is oh it does smell wonderful yeah it smells good it smells good well and like that oh yeah It's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Oh yeah. It's like a strawberry and um strawberry vanilla. Very good. Probably should have read the ingredients. Holy. Why do I do stuff like that? Watch, I'll have coconut in it and then I'll regret it. Be like, oh crap. Um, um, no, shea butter. Generally, when things have shea butter in them, <clears throat> and I say generally, because there are occasions where uh, that's not true, <laughs> but generally, if it has shea butter in it, does not have coconut in it and in this case I am correct from what I can see so yay me. anyway so the gloss bomb is $19 so that's good okay then we have the uh, infamous blotting papers which I already have a ton of blotting papers. I have never used them. <coughs> Maybe I should figure out a way to use them. That is $16. Um, and then we have the Fenty Highlighter in Kilowatt. Which is $36. This is in the shade Trophy Wife. Which I believe is like a, um, almost as intensely gold as my uh, Jeffree Star highlighter. We will compare because I'm very curious to see if they are the same. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I do like the packaging though. It is cute. They look similar. Oh boy. That's gold. Okay, so let's break out the Jeffrey here. Mm, because we know there's my Jeffrey. I can never get this sucker open. Oh no, my Jeffrey is uh, a little bit more bronzy gold. And this is, well, I don't know. They're pretty dang close. This one's a little more gold gold than this one. But they're pretty close. <gasps> wow, how much gold can one person wear, right? I mean... Yeah, like this one is super gold, and this one's more bronzy gold, if you look at them. Those are, the, the, yeah. Yeah, this one's Trophy Wife, and this one is so effing gold. I'm not pronouncing that, but you know what it is. Yeah, so this one's gold gold. This one's a bronzy gold. So. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong as I drop the thing. It is pretty. Um, 
I, I, I should have. I think <clears throat> okay I love my boxy charm don't get me wrong I knew that all of this stuff was coming so I was not surprised this is beautiful this is beautiful um, this is a box full of foam and a false bottom that says Fante thumbnail um <clears throat> and i think that the box takeover idea is fantastic what i don't think is great is <clears throat> they gave us a, a bunch of products that are not usable on a wide level for a lot of people and that's my opinion on that. I mean <clears throat> this palette I am I'm, I'm super stoked for like seriously and it's a freaking heavy palette I mean really <clears throat> okay so did I put I don't even know. I'm going to start over because I don't even know if I put that into my calculation. So $36 for the kilowatt freestyle highlighter in a trophy wife. Um, and then <clears throat> the lovely purple matchstick shimmer skin stick for $25. And then this <clears throat> eyeshadow palette, which we will get to in just one second, is uh, $29 because it is. It is on sale at Sephora for $29. Um, the Gloss Balm. This stuff, which is really nice. Really am digging it. It is a little sticky. A little sticky not horrible um <clears throat> for $19 and then the lipstick in um shade Chante is $18 and then the blotting papers for $16 $143. <clears throat> I love the brand takeover idea. I really do. This palette is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging. I mean, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Totally beautiful. That is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I will say I wish the shade names were on the front instead of the back, um, but I am super excited to try this, so I will be trying it out for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's a really beautiful palette. I mean, like, you could get some pretty bomb looks out of that, like, really. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. So. I'm excited to try that. It'll be really nice. Um, that'll be fun. I think overall, I think the palette, this, this, I might be able to make this work. I can use this as a as a, an eyeshadow and that's a dang big eyeshadow like really because that is a 
bright. I don't know anybody. Dark, medium, or light skinned that can use that bright of a gold highlight on their skin. I mean, <clears throat> same with the purple. But that's me. So, I, and, and that's the manufacturer's thing. But, and then the blotting papers. I think we got stock throw away. And that's, that's my opinion. Um, honestly, that is my opinion. Um, like I said, I think it's cool that we got a, um, a brand takeover. That was a lot of fun, I think, especially for the premium box. That, that is a fantastic idea. Fantastic idea. Do it again. Um, <clears throat> do I think that they should do stuff like like this, where we get basically junk? I'm not even. I shouldn't say junk, because it's not junk. That we get leftover shades. Mm -mm. No, that's not fair. Um. Because I guarantee you that uh, there were probably only 10% of us that got decent shades. And then the rest of us got funky shades. Because th they're just trying to clean stuff out. And that's not fair. That's not fair. So that's my like little rant, I guess you could say, about this. Otherwise, I love... The stuff that I can use, I am sad about the stuff that I can't use. Am I going to put it in a giveaway? No, because that's not fair. That's just passing it on to somebody else who can't use it. Um, I will try and make it work. I will put the blotting papers into a giveaway because I don't have oily skin. And hopefully somebody who does have oily skin can use them. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I won't put in anything into the giveaway. Um... So, there's that. Anyway, blessings to you all. Go out and have an adventure, even if it's just to the grocery store. Love you.